Hello, I am I'm Martinez. My name is Itzel, and I'll be having my next giveaway when I reach 500 subscribers. I will have questions during a live, and when I reach 450, I'll do the questions again in a premiere. Right now, let's see what palettes are up for grabs this go round. So be sure to share me out to help me get there. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Good morning, everyone. Happy Mass Monday. I am, I'm Martinez, my name is Itzel, and today we're gonna do an update for back to school. So my kids started school August 1st. So this, as I'm filming it, is the 13th, so you'll know, you know, how we've been adjusting since they've been back. So, let's start putting on this mask, and then after I get it all on my face, then we'll get into it and how it's been. So, as you know, my twins were online since 2020. And Lucy's in kindergarten. She was never in daycare. She was always with me. So, yeah. Big adjustment for everyone. And I had already cleansed and toned my face. This mud mask is, like, amazing. Like, after using it, like, a few times, um... Like, my acne scars always look, like, way better, and they don't look, um, as prominent as they are, and I love that it makes my skin look nice and smooth. So, bear with me. This is my first time using this little spatula thing, because I misplaced it, and I couldn't remember where it was, so I was using my fingers. I know, don't recommend, but... You work with what you got. I had another one, but I couldn't find it. So, yeah. I know, I need to find a system to keep track of my stuff better. It's just, I don't have the best storage right now, so, yeah. And after you put it on, you leave it on for 10 minutes. So, I'm trying to be careful because last time I actually got this um, headband dirty. Like my finger just hit the bow and I'm like, no. So I washed it uh, on the gentle cycle and then I let it air dry. I did not dry it in the dryer because I was afraid. So. It still looks amazing, so that's good. Alright, so how have you been? Are your kids back in school? How are you adjusting? I am adjusting pretty well for the most part. I do miss my kiddos a whole lot, but, you know, it's good for them to be around people and not be around just me all the time. I know that. Oh, it's just, it's hard. Um, what do you think about the people that do, like, the the unschool like I just barely learned about it and I don't quite understand exactly what it is because I heard of homeschooling but never unschooling and I'm like how does that work like if your kids want to go to college like can you still go with that like I need to know and I mean like for your college like Ivy League like 
Do you know? Do you not know? Because I feel like you need to go to actual school. Like, homeschooling, I'm sure, you know, is still acceptable. But unschooling, like, I need to know. Just, like, curiosity. You know? If you don't know, what do you think? Because, yeah, that's something I was curious about. There we go. That's as good as I'm gonna get it, I think. Hold on, let's see. Alright. So. Yeah. So, going back to school, the first day was rough for one of my kiddos. They came home sick. We think nerves and overstimulation and yeah so my kiddo wanted to stay home the next day but we did our best like took precautions and all of that and I felt like if I would let my child stay home then it would be like um what do you call that I forget what they call it with autism but um I believe her therapist would call it like avoidance, like the need to escape. And I don't want my child to believe that that's okay, that you could always run away from your problems because that's not reality. Like you can't. And facing them is really important. And it's like now like completely different, so happy and thriving. So I think I did a good job, even though it felt hard and it felt like, you know, like a gut punch like you know you you want to protect your kid but also you want what's best for them and it's just like you know it's hard now but it's what's best i promise so there is that so the first day was rough and you know not um being on the bus that was rough but friday like because their school was uh thursday Friday like the first week so Friday I got a call like in, in the morning and I was told that they were on the bus they made it off the wait list and on the bus so I'm just gonna get them because you know they're already in school and they thought they were gonna get picked up so I was just like okay we'll just pick them up and then Monday they'll start riding the bus in which they did and they're doing really great on the bus and I'm so happy about that because I had another parent tell me that they got on the wait list and meet the teachers and then they were there all year without making it on the bus like ever so um I kind of um jumped the line and what I mean by that is I didn't know that was procedure because um my kids haven't been in school since 2020 so it's been a very long time since i've had to do it and i i never you know had them not on the bus so i didn't know that you had to do it i mean the teachers so i was actually there already that day like before meet the teachers because meet the teachers was in the evening and i went to talk to the person in charge of the buses and she felt really bad because we were transferring so i had no idea how anything worked anymore and uh she let me get on the wait list and i was at the top of the wait list but i don't think that's really allowed or supposed to do it so there's that <laughs> so that's what happened and that's how they were able to get on the bus so quickly um because yeah i had no idea that you were technically supposed to fill out those forms and send them in like around when you register kids like I didn't know like nobody informed me that wasn't part of it I think it asked if you needed to be on the bus which I did but it didn't have an actual form to fill out like you had to fill that out separately and it's like we were transferring because my kids were online so it was like a whole thing so and I was happy that all three of them got on the bus. It wasn't like, because I've heard of instances where it's just like, oh, well, one of them is on the bus. And, yeah. So, I was happy about that. And, you know, 
we didn't have to wait. They told us it could be two weeks to a month, and I'm like, alright. So, it was a couple of days, like, not even a couple of days, like, really a day and a half. So, <laughs> that was amazing. It just worked out. So, I was pretty happy that they got on the bus. So, they're doing great on the bus. And now, just, like, working on them, like, speaking up and, like, doing things that they need to because they keep trying to, like, avoid it. And it's like, dude, you can't avoid it. Like, what I mean is they had a dentist appointment yesterday. Um, and, like, the school said, you know, that, um, like, doctor's notes, like, um, whenever they have to be out, like, they, uh, they, they really want them, so I'm like, alright, cool, um, we got them, and then, cause they ride the bus, I'm like, you guys need to turn in it yourselves, um, so, I told them, you know, you have to go with your little sister, and you have to do it, and then they're just trying to, like, oh, we can leave them with, leave her with these teachers, I'm like, no, she needs to go to the office, because, like, I don't know how they handle it if they will walk her to the office or they're going to tell her to go by herself. And it's just, like, her attention span is, like, so short. It's like, just, can you do this, please? Um, and then, you know, go do it for yourself. And then they're, like, freaking out. And they're like, oh, can we just give it to a teacher? And, like, no, they're, that's not their job. The ones that put all that information in is the front desk people. Like, that's their job. So, yeah. That was fun. Um, remember, my twins are 13, going to be 14. So it's just like, do I have to? You know, that teen stage. So fun. With Lucy, I feel like she would do it on her own. But she just doesn't remember. And, like, somebody's like, oh, I have this. Do you want to play with it? And just, there she goes. <laughs> like, so. There's that, you know. A lot of people say kindergartners are like babies, like literally. Um, it takes a little bit to like remember stuff, so. But yeah, so how have you been? How's back to school? Do you have children, grandchildren, great grandchildren in school? Let me know. What do you think about homeschooling, unschooling, online schooling, and all of that? Are you like public school, charter school, private school? Like, let me know. My kids, charter school. Um, so many people tried to persuade me to go public. And it's like, I went to these schools. I know what it's like. I did not like it. And I don't want my kids there. And also, even uh, my twin's grandmother, like, worked in the school system with um, the special needs children. And she's like, no, don't do it. They don't take them out of the school that they're in. Like, they're doing great. And they are And their school has, like, so many things that the public schools don't have. Like, they offer free tutoring and, like, different clubs and, like, really fun trips. And, yeah, I'm like, why would I give that up? Like, I'm only going to give it up if I have no other choice. But I have plenty of choices. Like, if they were in public school and my kids need help then I have to figure out how to pay for a tutor like yeah no I'm good like their school is good it's not too advanced for them it's just right and they like it it's like so many people are like well uniforms and it's just like well they either go into a profession where they have to wear the same thing all the time and it's just like it's getting used to it because we don't know, but there are plenty of jobs where they have to wear a certain, like, outfit. Like, the medical field, police officers, firefighters, like, you know. So, it's just like, they wear uniforms. You don't see them complaining. I mean, maybe. But, yeah, there's so many places where you need a uniform. That's just how it is. Mail carriers. So, yeah, but... They're adjusting really well. I'm happy about that. No complaints over here at all. Um, it was hard the first day with Lucy because, um, I think I mentioned it in another video. Like, because of, um, you know, school shootings and all of that and safety. Um, parents are no longer allowed, like, really in the building like you're allowed in the front office but that's it you can't go back to get your children you can't go and be there um 
you know, on their first day, you can't walk them to class. So that was hard just because it felt like I was robbed of a memory. And it's hard. I got that with my twins, and I'm happy about that, but I didn't get it with Lou. And it was a little heartbreaking. And, yeah, so it's just like you don't get another first day of school. And it's just like people being ridiculous and just so cruel are robbing parents of these precious memories. And then think about it. And if it stays this way and it goes like all over the country, there'll be like generations later where they don't know any different. Kind of just blows your mind. Um, but yeah, so that was that was like my sad moment that you know I didn't really get to be back there with her, but we I did get to be back there, you know, for meet the teachers and like you know when we went to school like for the book fair and that's when we talked to the bus uh, people. So that was nice, you know, that I got to like be there with her and uh, yeah. They'll have other events where they do allow parents, like, they have trunk or treat and, like, different little events that they do. So, there's that. It's just, you know, first day. But, yeah. She's doing really good, and she's making friends, which I didn't have any, like, um, worries about just because Lou is so sociable, and I know a lot of people were worried because, you know, it's just like, she's with you all the time, you know, it's good to have kids, like, um, socialized and with other kids and all this stuff, and, but Lucy, uh, would always go with me anytime I had to run errands, and she's very sociable, and she'll talk to everybody, and most people are really good about, conversating back with her so she got a lot of those like skills already and I think it's good that she um got skills to like be able to not just talk to other children but talk to adults because that's something that a lot of kids struggle with like yeah they can talk to like their peers but talking to adults like even Zell and Mel when they were in preschool like it, they struggled really hard with like you know, are you safe, trusting them, and, like, can I actually confide in you, so with Lucy, like, she, she got that, so, um, like, I'm happy about that, like, you know, it'd be easier for her to, like, speak up with her teacher, so, yep, and, like, Lou, like, went to the park, and we, we did the best that we could, and, like, we couldn't always go, because it's Arizona, and it's so hot, <laughs> all the time but yeah as far as I know they're doing great they're uh reconnecting like Zell and Mel are reconnecting um with other people and like meeting new people and you know building friendships and which is really great so I'm very happy for them and you know kids are doing great I'm adjusting um I'm missing my kiddos but it's to be expected, you know. They're, like, getting older and all that. So, let me know. How have you been? How's your August going? Are you looking forward to anything coming up? Thank you for spending time with me. And just catching up. Catch me in the next one. Oh, don't forget. Next Monday, we'll be starting my Disney series. Disney Mask Monday and my Disney um, favorites Friday. So it's something to look forward to. I'm excited. Are you excited? Get excited. And be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like the video.